A loyal friend, 
better. If he was your friend, you knew it. If you were perceived to be an enemy, you knew it. And oh man, for a person to stick with the same brand of beer for 40 years, that's what we, just in case you didn't know, that's something else, that's called oil. And he was very generous and kind, from pulling kids around the lake, biscuiting and tubing, giving them treats all day, helping young men get jobs on the pipeline or wherever, and not allowing young players to buy around at the bar, because they knew he, did, he knew they didn't have the money to actually pay for it. But of course, he was quite generous on the ice as well. On the ice, he would dish the puck off to poor Myron and let him touch the puck the odd time, just so Myron could get his name on the score sheet. You should thank Jack for that, Myron. He was a leader. He had the art of making subtle comments to get the best out of you, such as, hey, Nettahan, Burns, Maybe it's time you hit someone. Don't be scared to break those eggs in your pants. Then, I'm not really too sure what he told the Platt boys and the Harms boys, but oh boy, when they hit the ice, you just knew shit was going to happen real fast. Tough. The trait that serves him best, I believe. He was kind of a mean bugger on the ice. Once or twice a game, there'd be someone on the other team laid out on the ice. He knew damn well he had just slid that poor guy one of those famous elbows. Then on the next shift at the face-off, he would ask the guy if he would buy him a soda after the game. As one of our fans said one day, watching Jack have a fight. Now the guy Jack was fighting, well, he was fighting for his life. On the other hand, Jack, he was there just fighting to have some fun with the guy. Yeah, he was tough as nails. Pain threshold, which was unreal. And very evident until his passing. I hope this gives you some small glimpse of Jack's contribution and commitment from back in the day. He was so proud to be a pilot. And I hope you young fellows standing on that blue line today feel the same way as well. Memories never leave us. And Jack has given us plenty of those. Jack hated any kind of accolades or recognition. He would be so pissed today at me for doing this. The gentleman was real, genuine, and an awesome teammate and friend. Oh, gone, he will not be forgotten. I am visioning the university is already in session. Jack, keep your head up, stick on the ice, let the elbows fly. You're free now. Rest in peace, my friend. Thank you, Mr. Lord. If I could now call the call on Curry Mason, number 25, Josh Miller. And we are on the pilot, number 24, Tyler Beard, for a ceremony of the case off. In honor of the <laughs> you had one job.